the Blind Tiger and Sly Dell. We're with Anthony. Anthony, what's your last name? Darren's. Darren's Burr. Anthony Common Darren's spelling? Burr. That's right. Yeah. Common spelling. I forgot that. Now, Anthony, tell us a little bit about uh, the Blind Tiger. How long y'all been open here? And, and this is the same out of Mississippi, correct? Yes. Yeah, we just opened up this location uh, July 14th of this year, so almost four months now. The first location came up in St. Louis, been open for yeah. over five years, and we opened up another location in Biloxi back in February of this year. Okay, because I've been to one in Mississippi. I've been to Biloxi. Yeah. You can walk from the casino to it. It's awesome. Exactly where we're going <laughs> casino. And look at this. Look at this layout. I mean, is. this is consistent with what you have, you know, with the other blind tires. Right yeah. on the water, you know, great yeah. atmosphere. You got the deck out here, and I mean, this is just fantastic. Thank you so much for having us. And uh, thank y'all for being here. This is not the last time we're going to see you because tomorrow is the big tournament. This is this is the weigh-in day. So you're gonna you're gonna have some people, some boats rolling in here with with trailers. I can't wait. I'm jacked up. I'm excited. Jason. Would you like to help me out any? Well, <laughs> you see, the thing is, with all these boats coming in, I mean, you've, you've got a great area. I mean, you can park boats. I, I didn't really walk out into the grassy fields, but I would assume that, you know, somebody needs to park up there. You know, we're going to have a big crowd, hopefully, and uh, really just everybody's happy to happy to, that you were able to host us and, and things great, like this. Between, between you and Terry putting some work into it, I think... I think we're gonna have a great time. Terry put all the work into it. <laughs> <laughs> you just said okay. Yeah, yeah. That's hey, that's that's what we need though. Any any type of support is great, man. We appreciate that. Tell us what, what's on the menu here, because uh, when we ate here the other day, it's it's a tad different. Uh, you got some smoked meats on no, the. Every, everything here is fresh. We don't have any freezers on the property. Wow. We have mahi tacos, which is our number one seller. We do all our burgers. Hand pressed, cooked to order, hand pressed every morning fresh. Um, we do a lot of daily specials, like this weekend we're doing sweet chili shrimp tacos, um, pulled pork sandwiches, I'm just trying to think of other things off the top of the head. I know you got yeah, pulled pork, I think I pulled pork nachos? Yeah. We did the pulled pork nachos, we did pulled pork nachos a couple days ago, we're doing crawfish nachos today. Gotta stop and think about that. You too. Let's see. We just had a redfish glaze on, so I mean, we're all doing fried, grilled, and blackened. We're doing a sandwich with our in house made corn jalapeno tar slice. Mm. So the good news is, if nobody catches any fish, they can still eat tomorrow. That's right. They can say they eat. Yeah, they can still have fish, even if they don't catch fish. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having us. Thank, Thank you. you so much for being a part of this. Yeah, exactly, right, man. Uh, we're going to get uh, Terry Jones in here, the uh, the man behind the scenes. Yes. He's, he's a bit tired. But he I is. Think, I think he's he on the light. I think you can see the light now. All we're right, almost, let's welcome Terry. We're almost Terry done. Jones. What's up? We're almost done. Woo! What's up? What's up? <laughs> Terry, now let's back up to you had this thing going. We hit our momentum. Signing up boats, we had the show planned and everything two weeks ago, and one thing we forgot a hurricane in October. Huh? Yep. Well, why didn't we Wasn't on the that? radar. That's Wasn't on the radar. Murphy's Law. Yeah, Murphy's law. yeah. Oh, yeah. absolutely. There's a tournament, there's a weather issue. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, we had nine boats pre registered for the last one, and uh, sure enough, how to make that call. It was a tough one, but well, the right one. it's pretty good for pre-registered because usually pre-registers are hard to get. You, they usually start, you know. It really in, is, uh, and then being the person doing it, uh, I work in Luling, I live in Pearl River. It's really hard. That's uh, just right down the road. Oh yeah, they're yeah, really close. Cool. Just 60, 70, 65 miles. I was going to say 70 miles. Yeah, so it's really hard to give it up for people, you know, between their work schedule and their home life. Yeah, uh, like You know, from Mandeville to all the way in Chalmette, they got people. So, but uh, we we got it back on track thanks to you know a bunch of help from you guys and. Uh, these guys, yeah, man, the blind tiger, they're unreal. Yeah, I just yeah. Isn't this great? anything Look we need. This. I mean, it's beautiful. Look at this. Uh, Perfect place to do something like this. Uh, have a hard time ending the show. We're just gonna keep rolling. Yeah. Like I, a Jerry Lewis marathon here. What time uh, is place closed? Yeah. Never. <laughs> right. No, but uh, this would be an awesome place to have some kind of big redfish event. I don't know if anybody's looking to do that. But, yeah. Uh, this is the place. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You volunteered again. No. March. We'll do that one in March. No, no, no. Dock size we ain't there yet. Let's get through this one first. So let's, we're gonna, this, this, this show is going to be 100% North Shore Bass Championship. That's, what, that's all we're going to talk about. Let's get into it and get, get some of these guys in here. See, see if we can spill the beans where they're going. Now, you got them registered at what point they're, they're, they're uh, launching. Do you have, can you spill anything about what? What people are favoring, or 
you know. I'm curious um, to know, man. Well, yeah, yeah, we right so many. What I've told everybody is, uh, <laughs> you, you have close to, the book. Start with him. You have to choose your uh, your <laughs> launch site, you know, oh, yeah. to keep people from switching and swapping and being uncertain of where they're at. Uh, but I'm not giving that information to everybody. Uh, you know, some people might get. Yeah, it's worth a shot. Yeah, I don't want anybody to know I might fish at your funk though. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, because you never know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. just throwing it out there. Uh, you know, I need to know. I'm going to win it. Yeah, yeah. A lot, of, a lot of people uh, going different places. We'll go there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. I mean, that's what yeah. that's what the, the tournament's all about. You know, spread people out. I, I'm sure people are, are fishing their strong points. You got to think. You know, they're not going to just go where everybody else is going. And they're going to they're going to fish where they think they can get the heaviest spot fish stringer. I would hope so, man. And you know, that was the whole purpose behind this keep. And yeah. we've talked about it, and Jason too. Uh, we're just trying to get you know as many people as we can to get on board with this thing. Um, hopefully we can get a few more. We're at about 20 right now, maybe a little more. So we're already guaranteeing a thousand bucks for first place. I mean, who else can go fishing for a few hours and say, hey, I got a shot at a thousand bucks, you know? Yeah. So that, that's a good little perk to it. Um, the people out are here, you know, everybody's awesome to be around. We're all having a good time here at the Blind Tiger. Uh, we love you too. Oh yeah, we know you love you. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I think it's going to be good, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, now, on my way over here, I'm gonna catch any traffic. It was a quick drive. So I tell you what, how, how long do you have? When is the weigh in tomorrow? The weigh in, I've got it as opening scales at 4 o'clock, closing okay. at 5 o'clock. Okay. If somebody needs to weigh in earlier, as long I, I did that for a reason. I didn't know if we would have this to ourselves for a long period of time. So we should be set up by like 2 o'clock. If people want to come in early and weigh in, that's Good fine. Time. It's Good not time. an issue. If you want to save your fish, make sure they're healthy. But, uh, if you're not back here by five o'clock, you're disqualified. So okay. that's, that's the rule. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the, the longest journey is going to be from probably Delacro. Uh, or Manshack. Manshack's probably the one. It's between Manshack, Pools Bluff, and Delacro. They're kind of triangulated to where we're at now. Gotcha. Uh, they're, they're pretty much close to even distances. Uh oh, nope, nope, nope. I don't want to do that. So, uh, <laughs> ducks flying over. Ducks, you heard them? Yeah. I heard them. They were right there. Man. They were almost in range, but there may be a game warden watching. We're not in this move. Oh. <laughs> what had happened was, I can explain everything. If my neighbor was here right now, y'all have just heard a shotgun go off, I promise. It's a wild shot, huh? Oh, yeah. And you'd be buying a new phone. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, what we got, let's talk about the morning, what's going to happen, what you want anglers to do that are fishing this. Uh, you know, just everybody, it's it, like, this whole thing's been on the honor system to begin with. You know, we got a 6:35 blast off time that may be a little early. Except for the polygraph. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that may have helped us, may have hurt us. We'll see. Um, but but it's gonna be here, that's for sure. I actually talked to the guy on my way over here to make sure he was all good and squared away, and he'll be here about 4:30 to meet up with me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, 6:35 blast off time. I think it's gonna be cloudy tomorrow. So 6:45, everybody will be sitting there at the same time, looking at each other. From what I've seen, I'm not going to say where, mm -hmm. yes, but uh, mm -hmm. a lot of the same launches are being used by the anglers, so there's going to be a few launches that are vacant, and the rest are going to be really crowded. Oh, so, that's uh, enough. That's so everybody's going to uh, like see each other, idea. I believe, in the morning. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. But uh, everything else is the same, 12-inch fish. Uh, keep them alive, best you can, do whatever you got to do. Uh, thank God it's not real hot. It would be a little easier to keep them alive. And, uh, you know, and come back here and we'll weigh your fish and we're going to pay somebody some money, give them some pretty fancy trophies and Absolutely. probably have a few drinks and hang out out. And I want to incorporate, I want to thank David Henley of Southern Marsh Lures um, for the, for the, just a, the fast tackle, tur tournament tackle package that he, that he donated to the raffle. Also, we got uh, Louisiana Fish Fry and we got, what is that, a life jacket? It's a life jacket. Wow. Right now, right now. Wow. What's that, what's that retail here, for? What's that retail for? Ooh, $89. Seven, $80. Hopefully Something. a dollar, because that's what I got. Yeah, a dollar. <laughs> a dollar for a chance. <laughs> You're fixing to. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Let's let's bring in Morgan Shooty. Yeah. Woo! 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 There's no telling where this is fixing oh, to go. Yeah. <laughs> Off the tracks. Yeah. Good to see sure. you, man. What's going on? Good to see you, man. We're going to see you, man. 
blinding up here. Yeah. But, that's know, okay, man. That's okay. I'm used to the spotlight. Been there a few yeah. times. So. Really? <laughs> really? What's up, so, guys? So, uh, so tomorrow you're, you're definitely fishing it, huh? Definitely fishing. Okay, where are you fishing? NBS <laughs> Championship. <laughs> and hey, for the first time, time ever. <laughs> for the first time ever, Keith. I will relay that information. You don't care, huh? You I'm you sticking it local, son. Local, I, huh? I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna do my best to win this thing right here off the Pearl River. Okay, that's, that's pretty good guess. I mean, Wait a river. minute, whoa! The Pearl runs like 90 miles. <laughs> <bottles. laughs> There's know, like seven launches you can launch at on yeah, the Pearl. But the, uh, so I you're just keeping it you're on the Pearl. I'm telling you, okay. no, I'll try, I'm fishing at Crawford's Land and I'll be there at 5.30 tomorrow Why? morning. What you gonna do from 5.30 to 6.35? Intimidate. <laughs> oh, wow. that's a good answer. Well, yeah. huh. uh, I'm fishing that's local. I'm fishing local. A lot of that's things have come into play, man. You know, yeah. we've we rescheduled the tournament due to a storm. Mm -hmm. That storm has changed conditions drastically yeah. Yeah. from here to a long ways that you couldn't imagine that people are going the lengths to fish, mm -hmm. but it has, and they will. Now, so, Morgan, you're, let me get this right. Oh, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. We're making you're it feel telling me. From California, right? Yeah, they're like California. No, no that's California. like party. That's like Six Surfer. Ward. Oh. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, hey, Tally Sheet. Tally Sheet. I don't take anybody from Tally Sheet. We good with Tally yeah. so, so you're telling me you're going to intimidate somebody in the morning. That's it. Maybe if I brought that hat, it might help me, but they might say, hey, man, who told me about the concert? Hold on, this is not true. No, no. Not true that is. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Just, well, how about this atmosphere? Huh? Blind Tiger, man, this is hey, going to be great. I got, man, the Blind Tiger, dude, this is an excellent location to host this tournament. The second I found out that they were throwing it around about doing it out of here, I was like, heck yeah, this place is awesome. It's on the water. Granted, from wherever you launch at, might not be the best to come back in your boat, but there is a lot of launches as well, at least three or four of them, that would apply you to fish, to be able to fish till 4.30, 4.45, even 4.50, fishing right next to the weigh-in location as, and, and check in right then and there and come in by boat. I mean, Jason, uh, you you Jason, couldn't ask for more me for out, more Jason. of a better really location. We hey. all be better off if you would take that. Where, off. Every, where are you fishing at? Why are you not sweat spots? Way to get it right in your hair. But yeah, I mean, excellent location. I don't know if any uh, y'all listening, if y'all been here before or not. Uh, they have excellent food. The mahi tacos are off the chain. Uh, drinks and appetizers are. Greatly priced, much cheaper than other places, and uh, just a great environment, great vibe coming from it, and uh, we're ready to kick this thing off. Let's look at some of this uh, I don't tournament look at that, that just happened. <laughs> <laughs> did you fish that tournament? No, I did not. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's look at, uh, what is this, Pearl River Team Trails had a, had a tournament in October, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to incorporate the NBS on this show. We're going to go over the last two um, tournaments in this month and we're also going to look at the uh the standings and get y'all comments on some Absolutely. of these you know some of these jokers here look at these jokers at top man i tell you what where's the long hair trent pittman that guy looks familiar hey, he does. trust me i know <laughs> you want to try to feed him <laughs> he's been winning enough so Pearl really really teams trails held, held a tournament and that was what uh looks like two weeks ago 18 boats showed up Brock Fallon and Corey Insko came on top came out on top, 16.4 pounds. Second place, Charles Duzot and Mark Moore with 10 pounds. Man, that's pretty good if you could beat that team, huh? Yeah, definitely. I mean, and I, I don't think it's any big secret that Brock and Corey are on a pretty good wad of fish mm -hmm. for the last probably two to three months. Oh, uh, um, yeah, looking at you, that total, I mean, that's... Right, uh, right. And, I mean, it, it's one of those that, you know, you know when they show up that they're they're going to have their 13 to 16. So no matter where they're at or where they're going or something, they they've definitely found a good little wad of fish. And you know the people the people that are in there are really uh, oh yeah ev everywhere. And even even going down, you know the the usual suspects. I guess that's what you could say is you know uh, yeah the sticks of the area. You got Mark, Charlie, uh, Ross, and Reese, the Watkin kids out of Picayune, and then. Even Brett Sellers and Jason Pucho uh, from 
I guess they're the Gonzalez area, maybe maybe Denham Springs area. So they're coming over to, to fish the Pro River Team Trail too. So that's uh that's definitely pretty good. Third place, Ross and Reese Watkins. Heck of a year for, for this team. Um, tremendous, tremendous points. They're right you up. You can't never top. count them out. The Ross and Reese. Yeah. Them two boys there will put it on anybody. Who do you think their strongest uh, spot? Their strongest point. Their strongest point. That's where they're standing. Their strongest point as anglers is that they're very versatile. They're still consistent Talk during a during a cold front. Right. I mean, location. That's not at my discretion to give. Yeah. You know, but uh, they're they're definitely grass fishermen. They fish grass. They fish the tide. They know how to play it. They're great fishermen. I mean, they they have and even you know. Years past, before I was here, I've heard about it, and years during. Without without making any runs, they're still consecutive right. and just consistent fishermen. Whether they stick on a river, make a run, or, or whatever, they're just great fishermen. But that's some for PRTT, man. Uh, that's some that's some big stringers coming in, yeah. and it's 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 messing with some heads. You know, people are thinking, what's going on? What am I missing? You know. That's some good fish. Jason's over here stealing. I got a question for you. Now, I was trying to help that. you. I was trying to help you because according to Facebook Live, you see we had oh, a great yeah, spot uh, for uh, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> I, was just, I was just trying to help well, Southern you. Marsh Lords are talking. It, it was. It was. David Henley, I'm expecting a handout after that one. <laughs> Anyhow, what was you gonna ask? I was gonna say with the hurricane, and that, that's kind of changed conditions a little bit as far as it absolutely water. has drastically. What's drastically. the pearl look like nowadays? Um, you know, I don't need you to spill any. No, no, anything. no. Just There's just a lot of stuff I can right tell now. you about the pearl right now that is that is just uh, completely abnormal to this time of year. <laughs> Due to the recent hurricane, uh, man, the river, the Pearl River has been sitting around six and a half to seven foot, just now d dipping a little below six and a half foot, I believe. However, you can fish a dead low river and go down river two miles, and it is completely blowed out with a high tide that is four foot high and you can fish ponds and places that are choked up with grass that have been for two months that you couldn't even put a boat in and go in there and float a bass boat through there right now because the tide's so high. I've been above the interstate up to East Pearl past uh, whatever that is uh, going toward Mississippi. That's Waste um, House by you. Yeah, Waste, waste House. I, I went above Waste House and uh, all that is completely flooded out of the banks. That was granted, that was a week ago. Things might have changed a little bit. We had a north wind the last few days, getting this little cool front coming in, but the marsh is still high. The tide is high everywhere. The tide is high here, the tide is high in Delacro. The tide is abnormally high everywhere, but the pearl, that's what makes the pearl so special. It can be sky high at where it meets Lake Pontchartrain and Wrigley's, but as soon as you dip above Highway 90, on the West Pearl, it's six foot, and you're talking, you don't have much place to go other than the main river and deep channels that are left. Okay, now, now two tournament fishermen here. What are y'all thinking as far as this front's coming? It's looking like this is going to be great time in the front coming. I should be like a Toledo Bend. That's what I'm <laughs> thinking. If, if we catch this front just right and don't have to... You know, nobody wants to fish in the rain, but I'm not saying that's a bad time to fish either. Uh, the top water bite usually lasts a lot longer. The clouds, you're usually going to weigh your biggest fish in a tournament on a top water if you're on that sort of pattern. Uh, you know, if things happen, you catch them on whatever they bite that day that you're throwing, you know. But uh, top water is usually known to pull in your biggest bites of the day. And if we have a cloudy, overcast day tomorrow, and uh, hopefully hold out without the rain for at least a while. It'd be nice for the weigh-in and everything to, to, to be able to be saved from that. But uh, regardless, we're all going to be out here. We're all going to give it our best. And uh, I think we're going to see some surprising weights tomorrow. And, and those fish are going to bite with the free front. Fish always bite before a free front of the fish. What do you guys think it's going to take to win this with such a... 
wide location, everybody's gonna be fishing from Manchac. Go ahead, Jason. I'm gonna uh, uh, rebut. To, to, to Telepro, what do you think's gonna take the win? You, you know, in, in my personal opinion, I think with the water as high as it is all across the marsh, that's gonna even the playing field, and it may even bring the pearl into play more than it would have if everything if everything would have been normal. Uh, the the water is out through the marsh. In Delacro, um, it's out. The, the river's got to rise. The Mississippi's got a, ri a rise on it right now. So the uh, the ones that may be going to Venice from Delacro, they may be in for a little bit of a, I guess a rude awakening. But but they're good enough to, to make it happen. Uh, if I had to throw a dart right now, I'd throw a dart at six, sixteen pounds. Sixteen. guidance. want to take a beer out there. All right. Uh, yeah, that sixteen was, pounds. That's a good number. Got it. That's cool. Okay. He'll he'll dispose of it. Uh, no problem. Sixteen. That's a. I feel like that's a really good number. Uh, the pearl's capable of putting out that weight any day. Granted, it's not common. You see what happened in PRT. Uh, granted, mine are not come off the pearl, but the weights are being dropped on the North Shore. Uh, I know that tournament has uh, off limits as far as South Shore, so they're not going far. Uh, those fish are coming from here, you know. They, we have the fish across the North Shore, from the Pearl to Trafuncta to Manchac, to put those weights hey, out. Hey, slow down with the Trafuncta stuff, man. <laughs> we have the those weights. The it's dead. We have those it's, weights. It's done. Yeah, it's yeah, closed. Closed. Yeah, yeah, that's the last. Where's, where's the last place y'all heard somebody caught, what was it, a seven or a nine pounder? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Trafuncta. Yeah. But anyhow, uh, if I had to put a number on it, yeah, 16 is, is, is I think, going to be a little on the high side for tomorrow myself just because conditions have changed. People haven't had, you know, people have jobs, you know, not everybody's able to take off. Uh, I'm going to say tomorrow, if, if you have, if I rolled up to the scale tomorrow with 14 and a half pounds, I would, I would feel super, super, super good. Granted, I'm not saying that's what it's going to take to win, but if you have over 13, you're gonna you're gonna cash a check tomorrow if you have over 13 because not everybody's gonna bring in that sack there's gonna be your your top your top dogs that that execute on those bites from tomorrow morning that if they put them in a boat they're gonna be the ones to win and I would not be surprised if somebody cashed a check off the pearl uh, I definitely feel Delacro is gonna put out a check but not necessarily the win Right. You know, not the uh, because the title, no. the title stuff has changed, but but the rivers haven't so much, so they're a little more consistent. And, and what, we'll see. What, what's also happening right now? We've got a good range in the tide, but the east and the northeast winds kind of jacking everything. Up. So you know, if if you look at a, a tide gauge, it's all over the place. In about an eight-hour span, there's some. You know, it's dropping out a foot, but then it's coming right back up. So yeah, if somebody, it's like you said, if somebody, if somebody capitalizes, right place, right time, it, it could definitely happen. Thanks a lot, Morgan. We're gonna Thanks, we're gonna sir. get uh we're gonna get Chris Basie in here. We're gonna talk about that that uh, Jason, mass assassin. Thank you, man. Thank you. Pleasure, y'all. Well, welcome, Chris Basie. Hey, All right. Chris. Oh, 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 oh. I've been great, <laughs> man. Yes. I see you grew a lot of hair, but didn't you cut it I off? Did. Yeah, we cut it. Creeping yeah. Yeah, Morgan got a little nervous. Yeah. Yeah. I, I couldn't. Yeah. Freaking it was, him out there, huh? It was. It was. Let's so. talk about. I went to get a drink come back. You had long hair. I think yeah. how long was that? Huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or how many had you drank? Yeah. yeah. That may be the other cool question. Jason yeah. with long hair. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. All right, Chris. Let's talk about the uh, the tournament that you had over there at uh, Crawford's Probably. Landing. West Pearl, Trenton Pittman, is that Trenton Pittman that Trenton won that, Pittman. huh? No, oh, Eric. Eric, 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 Eric. There's one yeah. that Trenton didn't win, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> just, just taking a wild guess here. <laughs> By the way, I mean, you got to be proud of Trenton. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Right. absolutely. I mean, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Been doing good. Man. Definitely. So, uh, uh, Eric, Eric won this when he went in. I just, I just saw Eric, Eric show up. Eric now, let me, let me ask this. Let me ask this before we get into that. Um, how many Bass Assassin's tournaments have there been this year? That, that would be 17 because there's 18. Okay, so there's one left for the one year. Left for the year. So out of 17, how many is Eric Warren? Eric, uh, seven or so, I don't know, six, seven. <laughs> so where, 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 where I'm going 
with this is he can buy dinner. Oh, yeah. 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 Or at least a few raffles. Between him and Jimmy, there ain't been many other first places. And that's, that's what I was, it's pretty easy to figure out who hadn't won yeah. than who has. Because I knew, that was my next question. I know Jimmy Doris has is, is won probably five or six of the other ones. We can do fantasy uh, NBS. We can put money down and, and Like a cow yeah. Oh, yeah, that's an idea. Yeah. People would pay a lot for him. They're good. They're doing real good. Okay. And then uh, when we have second place, who was second? Trent. Trent was second, yeah. Trent and Wayne in seven pounds, six ounces. And then Ronald came down, came down and... Uh, came out of retirement for yeah. a day or two. Yeah, yeah. Ronald did. He tried to make a class. <laughs> yeah. Uh, boy, Ron, Ronald was strong on lock one. Did he fish lock one recently? He did. He did. That was lock one tournament, did he? Second, I think if you scroll down, I think it's at the bottom. I don't think he did win. Yeah, he was, Eric, he was up there. Eric had a monstrous like 12 pound sack. I think so Trenton, Trenton won the last one, I think. Yeah, Trenton had that yeah, last one on the lot. Yeah. yeah. So let's go through the top 10 right quick and we'll get your comments. Now, he broke into the top 10. Do you know uh, Daniel? Daniel Calvary? He's pretty pro river <laughs> he, is, he is definitely, he is, he is definitely he's, he's a river rat, there's no doubt. I believe he's from Picky I've got some, uh, some friends of mine that I duck up with that actually grew up with him. And once once he gets into the mood, he's, he's going to catch some fish. <laughs> Number nine, Caleb Bodet. Boy, that run he had at the beginning of the, of the year. He's still up there. Yeah. Number nine. Biggest yeah. runner of the year, 17 yeah. something. Man, that's incredible. Incredible. I'm proud dad. Rustin, speaking of Rustin, number eight. Rustin tied up with Charlie Duzat. Uh, number eight. Let's go to number seven. Jimmy Dore is having a really good season. Yes, he has. You, you give me strong point. Fight, fight Liberty. Uh, yeah, the water. <laughs> the water. Yeah, the water. The pearl. I know. It, I know for a fact he doesn't care for the Chifunka though. Oh right. He he is not, the yeah. not many people like the Chifunka. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why. Like it. it. I don't know why. It's yeah, a dead sea. I like it. I like it. <laughs> He's not getting hit here. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> the Chifuncta's closed. Everybody else is up. Yeah. Terry Jones at hey, number six. It is where our next tournament is. Oh, huh, what day? <laughs> First Sunday of November. <laughs> Mark Moore at number five. Now, Mark, Mark's been making a surge late here. He hasn't been fishing too many tournaments, but he's placing up. Yep. Ross and Reese Watkins. It's funny, they have the same amount of points. Yes. Because they fish together yes. constantly. It's a solid team. <laughs> definitely, you definitely. can't break the point. Yeah, that's almost like brotherly love or something. Yeah, that's they're like brotherly love. <laughs> Eric Sico? Sico? Sico. 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 Yeah, he just showed up. He's, he's going to have... He's going to Yeah, he just shows up. I like up. Er Eric's got the best big, the best championship pose. It's like he just... Yeah, I, just like, I really like how he does that. Look at him, boy. Yeah. It's just like, it's like a rap. Yeah, I got this. <laughs> well, it's more like I just took your money. That's what it's more like. But look, he, he's he's like seven foot eight, so I ain't gonna fool with it. Talking about my hey, water. you get back over there. You're talking about my water. I don't want to hear it. Eric, right, come over here. I want to see it. I don't want to hear it. We're, we're actually we're actually I'm more concerned. Foot. This is a fish, and this is a fish. I want to do it. Yeah, hold. Yeah. 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 Pose. Yeah, look. Boom! Yeah, <laughs> Go throw some signs down. There you go. Well, you gotta make the face too. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got definitely, that. definitely. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But see, the bad part is, Eric. I, Eric, have you ever fished with Mr. Joe? Uh, oh boy! Oh, man. I'm pretty sure they have teamed up for the NBS championship tomorrow. Wow! So, yeah, it's gonna be. We're just gonna be trying to be cut. We've been talking about it for about six months now. Yep. Now we're gonna do it. Yep. Yeah. All right, Good number deal. two, Jason Pittman. Wow. Yeah. Number two. How are you handling number two to your son? That's called a coattail. <laughs> That's a coattail because in a team tournament, I ride with him. Now we're good. I mean, you can. You, he's still of age where you could punish him, right? Like, you could punish him. Oh, he gets into a little Take your truck the away, take your boat away. Ground it. <laughs> Not necessarily. I mean, he's hit that 18 now. So, oh, you know, by law, yeah. I can't. It's but law, no. But there could be, like, supplies cut off. Right. You know, right. something like that. But, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You want enough to eat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. And number one, Trenton Pittman. Yeah. 
what a huge accomplishment yeah. to be number one. You've got you to win some tournaments to get up there. You've got to be awfully proud of that. Uh, I am. I am. you got to win in a lot of clubs to get up there. <laughs> yeah. And, that's, you know, and that, that's one of the things, and I've seen some posts, you know, people concerned, like, how, how it all comes about. But it's it's pretty it's pretty obvious. The more clubs you fish with, and that's the uh, you better can, chance you that have. That was my idea when right, created. Right, definitely. definitely. Maybe this can... can it's a tournament outside of the tournament you're competing in. Right. Maybe it'll force some anglers to go fish some more. Absolutely, right. absolutely. I think I think Trenton's fished like four four different trails this year. So yeah. and yeah. and and that's well kind of helping you be You know, yeah. rehearsal yeah. instead of just yeah. sticking with your right. own trail, force yourself to, you know, right. outside Definitely. your comfort zone, yeah. you can only improve. The boat's on the trailer. It'll yeah. go wherever you tell it to. I've learned that over the years. You know, the more different people you fish against, and even the bigger sticks you fish against, the more you can learn, the more you're going to better you can. Big sticks are going to be like branches? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you're talking about it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. But, you know, and, and one thing with, with Trenton, he caught fire this year, and, and I saw it coming, uh, you know, for the last two years. I could see what was fixing to happen, and, you know, we went over to February in tick fall, and he sticks a seven a 7.16 behind me, and I'm like, that's a shoe pack. Yeah. And all of a sudden it comes up, and I, the net, and no, well, I, missed, I missed it with the net, but that's a different story. So, but I mean, you know, right here, no, 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 you gotta be proud, man. Oh, yeah. definitely, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're gonna end the show on that note. Um, it's not too late to sign up, get a hold of Terry Jones. I want to thank Terry so much for his effort. Right, yeah. his tournament. Wow. Thank you, Terry. Woo. Also, uh, David Henley is watching on Facebook Live. I bet he wants his laws back in the camera shot. Huh? Well, I, he probably does. But I, I, think, I would like a couple of those because you were blocking me the whole time. I, I didn't get my show time. <laughs> but, How know. many raffle tickets did you buy? Ooh, six. No, well, six. I six. Yeah, yeah, one, yeah, yeah. Six. Seven would win. I can almost guarantee it. I am. Yeah, probably not. I'm going to take my <laughs> chances. <laughs> but. Up here. But yeah, we are gonna do this. What they got in there, man? I, it's I got a lot of it, a, a little bit of everything. Hey, we can leave it up here. Chris is up here now. Yeah, I'm totally good. Hey, oh, okay. Hey, we'll take care of it after. Okay, well, Morgan, we're gonna leave it up now because Chris is a little taller. Yeah, I'm gonna so, yeah, that's yeah. Right. so hopefully, hopefully, Dave. Oh, hey, I don't know how to catch fish, none. I can see them better. I'm lower to the water. What be one with the fish, Morgan? Y'all don't side fish on a pearl? <laughs> Alright, well let's close this thing up before it officially jumps the tracks. We're going to get loose. Oh, we, we here. were at a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, thank you so long much, enough. Jason. Appreciate it, man. On Enjoyed on it. What a blast. And uh, thank you to thank Anthony you. for Thanks, buddy. No from the Blind Tiger. We're going to be back here. Uh, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, in about 18 hours, we're going to be right back here. The next so any, anybody, watching, on anybody watching on Facebook Live, if you're in the Slidell area, come by the Blind Tiger tomorrow, 3, 4, 5 o'clock, eat something, drink something. Check out some fish that are going to be caught because uh, it's going to be fun. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, I think there's also supposed to be a little antique car show here as well. So. Okay. okay. I'll bring my antique rods. Bring your antique rods. <laughs> I'll bring my antique fish. I'll bring my antique <laughs> cord, I got it. Hey, Trenton will bring his antique dad. <laughs> All right, guys, let's hear it for the Blind Tiger North Shore.